Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to click the like button and subscribe so you can see more of my videos in the future. Thank you. Here I have two quarts of chicken legs. Each one of these jars is one quart. We bought some chicken leg quarters on sale a while back. My husband divided the legs from the thighs and we canned them up. We put the legs in jars and we put the, the thighs into jars. But there's chicken legs and all that liquid in there is broth from the chicken legs themselves. So I will be draining off that broth into here with my colander in a bowl to catch the broth and I will debone that meat and put the meat over here. And then I'm going to use that chicken leg meat to make dinner tonight. Stay tuned. Okay, so I got those two quart jars of chicken legs deboned. And this is how much chicken I got from them. And this is how much broth I got. That's a one quart jar. So anyway, I am going to get started making dinner. Let me show you what we're going to have. And I'm back. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this chicken. I am going to make some very quick chicken enchilada casserole. So to start with, you need your cooking spray and a deep dish 9 by 13 pan. Let me move some of these things over here. And we're going to spray this quite liberally because you don't want your corn tortillas to stick to the bottom. Okay, that should be good. Now, you want to take your corn tortillas and start placing them in the bottom. And you want to kind of layer them on top of each other. And kind of up the sides a little bit. Because you don't want your chicken to fall out when you're serving this up. And for this pan here, I have figured out that I need eight on the bottom already before I started recording. So I've got three up the sides like this and three up the sides like this. And now I've still got gaps here in the middle. So we're going to go with number seven and number eight. Okay, so now we've got eight corn, corn tortillas on the bottom like that. I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And in my bowl, I'm going to put my chicken that I deboned from those two quart jars of chicken legs. And that is in the bowl. And next, you want this can of mild diced tomatoes with green chilies. In other words, Rotel. Now, I use the liquid in here because I don't want my corn tortillas to dry out in my casserole. So I just dump the whole can in. And this was a little 10 ounce can. So we've got that in there. We're going to stir this around really good. Mix that all up. Now normally, I would put a handful, which would be about a cup of cheese in here, but I am running out of cheese. I guess I could look in the fridge and see if I've got any left. I don't think I do, but maybe I do. Hang on. Oh, wow. We're in luck. There's a little bit of cheese left. Ta-da! There is some cheese. And I think this was sharp cheddar cheese. And that looks like about a cup to me. Okay. Yay. I'm so glad to see that. Okay. So we're going to put that in there and give it one more good stir. So now we've got the chicken, the rotel, and if you like spicy, you can go ahead and get the regular rotel. It doesn't have to be mild. I like to use the mild rotel. Spice tends to bother me for some reason. But you can go ahead and spice this up however you want. Okay, so that's it. I'm not putting any seasonings in here or anything. We're going quick and fast and hard here tonight. It's already 7.15 and I've got to get everybody fed. All right, so I am going to take half of this mixture and put it in my pan. Only half, guys. Don't let the whole thing. And we're going to spread this around. It's 
set the rest of that aside. I guess this could be almost like a chicken enchilada lasagna if you wanted to be fancy and call it that. Okay, that looks good. See, we're in a hurry. We've got to keep moving. I already measured out one cup of sour cream. And I have here a can of mild green enchilada sauce. And that says green chili enchilada sauce mild. And that is a 15 ounce can. I'm going to add that to my one cup of sour cream. And I'm going to pour it all over. I told you earlier, I am a messy cook, but I am a good cook. I'm gonna need the whisk. Hey, look, I brought my tools this time. So we're gonna whisk that together really good. Get that sour cream blended into that green enchilada sauce. And I even picked a bowl that has the perfect little handle on it. It's like a little pour spout almost. All right, that looks good to me. All right, so bring the enchilada back over here. I'm gonna pour some of this over this. We're just gonna drizzle this over this, just like that. You wanna cover up the chicken. You don't wanna soup it, but you wanna cover it. You don't want that bottom layer too soupy. Okay, I think we're gonna call that good. I'll come back in with my rubber spatula and just spread it around a little bit. Because this is not a thick sauce. It will thicken up in the oven as it cooks, but it's not thick going into the pan. It's, it's quite thin. Okay, now I'm going to take some more of the corn tortillas and we're going to go over the top of this. Now, being I already got the eight on the bottom, I'm just going to go with six here on top. And these I'm going to scoot in just a little bit further this time to cover this. We're not going to go all the way up the sides this time. And this is another thing that kind of makes this pretty is because you can see the layer around the edge. Okay, one more. Okay, and he's in there. I've got really messy fingers. Hang on. Okay, and I'm back. Now we're going to take the rest of the chicken mixture and that's going to go on top of here now. We want all of that out of here. Use that rubber spatula, guys. Get that all out of there. You don't want to miss a piece of food here. Every piece of food right now is important. You've got to feed your family. Get it on the table. Get those bellies filled. And I'm done with that. So now we're going to spread this around. Just like that. Make sure it's good and even. You don't want any humps in the middle like I had from pouring it in here. Just spread it around really good. Okay. And there we go. That's it for the chicken part. Now we've got sauce. You want to make sure to save some of this for the top. So right now I used a third on the bottom level. We're going to use another third on this meat on the, um, the middle level. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word there for a minute, so we're just going to drizzle that on here, making sure that we save some for the top. And that looks about good. I need to save that for the top. And we're going to take the rubber spatula and again cover that around. If you need a little bit more, we can use a little bit more, not a whole lot. There we go. Okay, there's that layer. Okay, Let's save this. I'm gonna need that one more time. Okay, one more layer of corn tortillas. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so the bottom layer had eight. The middle layer had six and this one had six. So that's 20 corn tortillas. You will need 20 corn tortillas for this casserole. Now we're gonna take the last of our sauce and drizzle it over the top. 
Cover those up really good. I'm making a mess. I'm a messy cook, but I'm a good cook. I came up with this recipe all on my own. And my husband absolutely loves it. My son loves it. Uh, I used to roll the corn tortillas and make the individual enchiladas. And one night I I'd planned on it. Uh, I had everything ready and I was, I was just too tired to do it. So I came up with this casserole and he said to me, honey, he says, that tastes just as good as your enchiladas. It's got all the same stuff in it. If that's easier for you, just make it like that from now on. So I make it like this from now on. All right, so next we have got one cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. And we're gonna sprinkle that over the top. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? That's my white sour cream chicken enchilada casserole. All right, I am going to put this in the oven covered with foil at 350 degrees for half an hour. And then I will take the foil off and check it and make sure that it's bubbly, it's warmed through, and the cheese is melted. If you want to brown the cheese on top, you can take that foil off and, and let that brown up. And if not, you can just leave it just as it is. All right, let me get this oven. It, it, <laughs> I'm so tired and it's been such a long day. Let me get this casserole in the oven and we'll be back when it's done. And I'll show you what it looks like and my husband having some of it. Because you know, he's going to be surprised when he finds out this is what I made tonight. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Okay, it is done. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? All right, so we baked this at 350 for 30 minutes. And then I switched over to the broiler and I watched it. And it did not take very long for it to broil up and turn a little bit brown. Two or three minutes. So there you have it. White chicken enchiladas. I'm going to serve this up and show you what it looks like on the plate. There you have it. Sour cream, white chicken enchilada casserole. Do remember to let this set up for about five minutes before you try to serve it. Well, we're hungry. I served it piping hot and it tried to fall apart when I went to put it on the plate. But yeah, it's still, it's pretty and it's good food. Enjoy and thanks for watching.